Welcome to the 411 on books and um, Mr. Troy Johnson is here. So um, a lot has happened since the last time we got yeah, together. it really has. Yeah. Uh, the Queens Book Festival, the um, Sacramento Black Book Festival, Book Expo, Book Con, and... How about our Black... Yep, yep. <laughs> yes, indeed. Let's not forget that. The, um, no. the Black Pack Party. Yeah, that was a great party. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you mentioned, I did go to the Queen's Book Festival. It's their, I want, uh, their third one. And it's it was held right on the water in Long, Long Island City. Oh, nice. It was a beautiful day, terrific event. It's, two, it's a two-day festival. I attended on the second day. And it, I really got a chance to meet a lot of uh, great writers and publishers. Uh, I met a, a guy, uh, Sean Randall, from The Mantle. Um, he's made it his mission to, and he's based in Queens as well, he's made it his mission to publish um, African writers. So he's got uh, uh, Stanley Kazemba out of um, Kenya and a number of other African writers that he's publishing, so it was great to meet him. Mm -hmm. We met online, but it's good to actually meet, meet him. Meet in person. Meet in person. Or in real life, as they say on social. <laughs> in real life. Um, there was also a group uh, that was published this humongous uh, travel guide. Wow. So these were black travelers going, I guess they covered about 100, 150 countries in this really large book and uh, wonderful pictures um, in far flung places. Mm -hmm. And their mission is also to help people understand that black people do travel and we travel in, in a wide variety of places. and. And looking at that book, folks are really enjoying themselves. So th that was interesting. Right. So with that book, um, did they get contributors who went to different places to give them the information? Or? Yeah, they have contributors who right. supply the photographs mm -hmm. and, and some of the descriptions. But they also travel themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, um, That's true. yeah. So it's it's a, a group of folks, and um, it, again, a wonderful looking book. It's it's about as big as this table. Wow. It's really <laughs> Well, that's really certainly is. a coffee table book. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. You know what? Um, you know, Book Expo America was, um, you know, recent held recently at the Jacob Javis Center. Uh, many of you out there may have been there. You know, um, and if you ha and if you were, you know, hit us up and let us know. Um, but one of the highlights of Book Expo America this year was that Hillary Clinton was there. It was a Q and A with her. She has a book coming out in um, September of this right. year. Right. So I, you know, this is part of. I'm, I'm assuming the. And nobody said this. I'm assuming it <laughs> that is part of the publicity tour. Sure. Yeah, yeah, that's the main part of point of Book Expo is to right. help. It's for booksellers to actually learn more about the books that are coming out. Mm -hmm. uh, learn more about the authors and and some of the the things that publishers are, are producing right. in the, in the near future. Yeah, I've gone pretty much 10 years in a row. I missed it, actually missed it this year to make Sacramento. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's um, it's a terrific event. And if you're involved in publishing, it's really an event you need to attend. A absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, so um, if you want to see the article about the um, Hil Hillary Clinton Q&A at, at Book Expo, just log on to whatstheforum.com and it's there. Okay. So. In the midst of, or the first day of Book Expo America, um, you held your annual Black Pack party. And, and again, it was really, really great. It was amazing. So, um, you know, yeah. so talk about the, you know, what, you know, got what's, you started. What started. Yeah. How well, you know, there are not a lot of black professionals working in publishing. And often we don't get a chance to sit down and commiserate and share stories and, and just socialize. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there are people I deal with regularly, but just through email. Mm -hmm. And um, it gives you an opportunity. This, this party has been, this is the 11th year we just had it. And it's always- The 11th year? Yeah, this is the 11th year what? that we had it. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. Wow. And we, um, you know, we do it during Book Expo mm -hmm. because a lot of people come in from out of town. Uh, a lot of people who would normally be in the same place together mm -hmm. are now have converged where Book Expo takes place. Right. Last year it was in Chicago, next year it'll be in New York again. Mm -hmm. um, but again, we met at Clive Frazier's this year for the first time, a really terrific venue. Um, again, so it's almost like a family reunion. It's, yes, it's, it's, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, it's got, very much has that feel about it. 
you know, just meeting new people. Mm -hmm. um, it's purely social. We're not trying to sell books or do business necessarily, mm -hmm. but it's just uh, an opportunity just to embrace each other and celebrate our accomplishments. Yeah, and you know what? It it was like a family reunion, if you will, in a way, and I really, um, that's a great way of looking at it. I reconnected with one of the sponsors of the um, African American Literary Award Show oh, okay. that I um, co-produced um, several years ago, so, um, and she has a book coming out, so yeah, so we'll probably get her on the show to oh, talk about that sounds book. good. In yeah. fact, the, your co-host was there as well, yeah, so yeah. it was really, yeah, yeah it was yeah. interesting. Yeah.